this recording I will be going over the answers to the chapter 11 worksheet part 1 converting structure to name and the first structure we have the longest continuous parent chain is identified here as being five carbons long five carbons represents a parent name of pentane the only substituent we have in this chain is here the lowest possible number I can give to this substituent is 3 and this would be the case in either direction so the full name of this compound is 3 methyl pentane in the next structure listed the longest continuous chain you can actually get from a number of different directions they all lead to the same number of substituents and the same type of substituents I'm going to put down I'm going to identify one of those parent chains here highlighted the substituents we have off this 5 carbon parent chain are two methyl groups and this branched isopropyl group numbering in either direction gives us the lowest possible combination for the three substituents involved where the methyl groups would have two and four and the isopropyl group is at position three we name this in alphabetical order isopropyl starts with I is before methyl remember that Greek prefixes like di are not considered when we look at alphabetical ordering so the full name of this compound is 3 isopropyl 24 dimethyl pentane for the next structure the parent chain is the 5 carbon cyclic ring this would be cyclopentane and for substituents we have two these are two halogens one is fluorine the other is bromine since these halogens both have the same priority we number so that the we number so that the first one alphabetically gets the lowest carbon number this would be bromine so bromine gets carbon one next lowest number that we can get for fluorine would be if we counted in a clockwise fashion that would give fluorine position number of three so so far this would be bromo three fluoro cyclopentane however we're not done here because in cyclic alkanes with two substituents cis trans isomerization can happen so in looking at the dash wedge designation we see that the bromine is protruding out from the page the fluorine is protruding into the page these two substituents are on opposite sides of the plane of the ring this would be designated as trans so we've trans bromo 3 fluoro cyclopentane the next structure listed we have quite a lot going on here but the longest continuous carbon chain is actually the four carbon ring in the middle this would be cyclobutane everything else is a substituent hanging off the cyclobutane ring there are a total of six substituents hanging off of this we have a tert butyl group and a total of one two three four five methyl groups located around the ring in numbering we want to give the lowest number to the first substituent that is in alphabetical order this would be tert butyl b for butyl tert is not considered part of the alphabetical ordering so tert butyl gets carbon one we want to count clockwise because four out of the five methyl group would be numbered lower at carbons two and three rather than carbons three and four counting clockwise we have a tert butyl group at carbon one two methyl groups at carbon two two methyl groups at carbon three and one methyl group at carbon four so in naming this compound we start off alphabetically with tert butyl two two three three four pentamethyl Greek prefix pent penta is placed beforehand to designate five methyl groups and then finally the parent name cyclobutane
For the next structure listed, the longest continuous parent chain is actually the five carbon long chain and not the cyclic structure that is on this alkane. It is five carbons long, making the parent pentane. It does not matter which way we number, because both substituents off of this five carbon chain are located at carbon three in the middle. The two substituents are a methyl group and a cyclopropyl group. This is cyclopropane, but since it's not the parent, we drop the A and E at YL to designate it as a substituent. Naming this off, we actually list cyclopropyl first since it is first alphabetically. So 3 cyclopropyl, 3 methyl pentane. For the next structure listed, we actually have a 10 carbon long parent chain. And for numbering, we want to give the two substituents that are on this chain a methyl group and an ethyl group the lowest possible carbon number and that comes from counting in a counterclockwise fashion. This gives both substituents carbon number of 5 so the full name of this compound is 5-ethyl 5-methyl decane. For the next structure listed we have another long parent chain. It is 10 carbons long shown here now for numbering, we number from the right hand side and work our way left since the three substituents that are hanging off of this parent chain, all methyl groups, we get the lowest numbers starting with 3, 4, and then 6. And the other direction would give us much larger numbers of 5, 7, and 8. So the full name of this compound is 346 trimethyldecane.